Okay, in order to learn how helicopters fly, two things you want to remember in the beginning, that is collective and cyclic. After that, we come to the main rotor blades. Every helicopter has main rotor blades, which will actually spin at a very high speed. The second thing that you want to see and remember is the swash plate. Swash plate has two discs. The lower disc doesn't move, while the upper disc actually spins the upper disc rotates together with the main blades. Now, how does a helicopter generate lifts? It's very simple. All right, when the main rotors are rotating, the swash plate can go up and down, controlled by the pilot. And when the swash plate goes up and down, it actually changes the angle of attack of the main blade. Okay, and this angle is changed on both blades equally as you can see from here I can show you that both blades are changing the angle of attack equally this generates lift equal lift uh, using both blades and helicopter will ascend and or hover okay the second concept is very important when the helicopter blades are rotating the engine and this rotation will cause the whole helicopter to spin in opposite direction that is called torque reaction okay in order to counter the torque reaction helicopters use the tail rotor blade okay so the function of tail rotor blade is to make sure the helicopter torque reaction is countered so the helicopter will stay uh, so the helicopter will not spin while the main rotor blades are spinning okay now this is very simple collective all right this just now what I describe is collective is called collective okay it means changing the angle of attack of each blade equally all right both blades generate the same angle of attack okay and they and this is called collective all right in collective the swash plate will move up and down right the second thing is cyclic cyclic actually makes the helicopter to move forward backward or tilt left and right um, how cyclic works is that you can see the swash plate tilts in the corresponding direction forward backward left and right now what happens when the swash plate tilts in certain direction it actually affects the angle of attack of one blade to be more than the other blade in a certain point of rotation when the blade has rotated 180 degrees in this sense the helicopter has more lift at one side while less lift at the other side thus the helicopter gets unbalanced and tilts in that direction okay this is the way the cyclic actually moves the helicopter in different directions okay so this is very very simple concept of the rotary flight okay those were some concepts and actually if you want to know more uh, just go to www.google.com and type how helicopters fly or I would suggest you to visit www.science.howstuffworks.com or you can simply type www howstuffworks.com and look for how helicopters fly in fact if you google it how helicopters fly the first link is howstuffworks.com all right let us recap the basic concepts quickly uh, the angle of attack of both blades is changed equally using the swash plate which is called collective so collective will make helicopter ascend or descend all right now when the main rotors are rotating the whole helicopter will spin in the opposite direction that is called torque reaction torque reaction is countered by the tail rotor which can also change its pitch as you can see it can change its pitch as well now the next thing is cyclic cyclic makes helicopter go forward backward left and right 
All right, so these are the basic concepts. Um, I hope that you have learned them very well. Let us move on. Thank you.